In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five steps infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show me with this purple color, the step one, you can add some icon and the title and the detailed text. When I click, it will show me the step two with a different color. Then comes the step three, step four, and then the step five. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the slide background to any light color background then I'm going to show you how to create this particular shape as you can see here. Uh, the top and the bottom we have got some kind of a curves here okay so this particular shape is not available in a Dubai in the default shape so we have to create this uh, something like this so let me show you how to create this first of all so go to the shape select the rectangle draw a rectangle okay this much size shape outline make it no outline then go to the transparency and increase the transparency okay 30 degrees or 30 percent or 40 percent then go to the insert again shapes select the rounded corner rectangle draw a small rounded corner rectangle you can see here again this also you make it more transparent so it is visible how much area i'm going to keep it and shape outline make it no outline let me just zoom in you can see here i'm just going to make a somewhat curve and then i'm going to put it something like this you can see here this area only is showing as curved here but now how to cut this area so again for this i'm going to select this shape press ctrl d to duplicate reduce the size increase the height and i'm going to place it something like this you can see here so this area which is there i'm going to cut the, the other area so first of all let me just select this shape hold the shift key select this rectangle so before that one let me just give you some different color combination so you can understand better so for example i'm going to give this color and i'm going to give some different color to this okay so what i'm going to do this purple color i'm going to merge with this blue color okay so that's the first shape select the uh, first the blue rectangle hold the shift key and then select the purple rectangle go to the merge shape and make it a union so you can see here it is showing something like this all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key select this a green rectangle go to the shape format merge shape and i'm going to subtract it so you can see here we have got the shape which is similar to this one again if you want to more curve you can just do it the more curve so anyway this is okay for me but the problem is in the bottom also we need to have so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this from the half so for that go to insert shape select the rectangle draw a rectangle you can see here this is the half I'm just going to select this shape, hold the shift key, select this one, merge shape and subtract. All right. So now duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D, rotate. I'm going to make it flip vertical and then flip horizontal and attach this one. All right. So you can see here I have attached both the shapes. Now I'm going to select this and this go to the shape format, merge shapes and make it a union. So I have got this shape ready. So again, depending on my requirement, I can increase or decrease the height. So let it be this height. I'm deleting this part. All right. And make it transparency to 0%. And I'm going to bring it here. All right. Then go to the insert shape. Select the rounded corner rectangle again. Draw a small rounded corner rectangle. Shape outline. Make it no outline. So first of all, let me just give the right coloring for this. This should be somewhat kind of a, a purple color here and this one should be more darker of this. Okay, so now I'm going to select this one. I'm going to choose the same color and then go to the colors again, more colors and increase the shade here. Okay, so it is looks more darker here. You can see here. Let me just zoom in a little bit, make it a curvy here and then attach this one and send this to back. You can see here it looks something like this again if you want you can just reduce it as well okay so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to select both the shapes press ctrl d to duplicate and put it here so now if the size is too much so let me just reduce the size here the height of this i think this is okay let me just zoom in further yeah 
and then select both the shapes press ctrl d and move it aside on the top which is attaching to this one you can see here now again press ctrl d by default it will come there again ctrl d so now it is going above the slide okay doesn't matter and again one more press ctrl d okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete this part press ctrl a to select all the shapes and bring it down if it is still going above the area press ctrl g to group it and hold the shift key and reduce the size you can see here something like this it will look like all right so now let me just ungroup right mouse click group and ungroup and this area i would like to add a kind of uh, arrowhead for that insert shape select the rectangle draw the rectangle at the top and then i'm going to cut this as well subtract it go to the insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the triangle draw a small triangle give the same color shape outline no outline and align it so both these shapes i'm going to make it union all right so now you have got the design ready now the next thing what you can do is you can just give the any color of your choice okay so let me just select this one and i can just give any color of my choice i'm just going to give this as green so this also should be a darker green okay so again this green I'm going to select go to the more colors and make it more darker here so you can see here then comes this color maybe I can just give a blue color here and this one will be more darker blue so I can just choose this color then this one any color I'm just giving one suggestion here but it's up to you which color you'd like to choose it okay again it should be sorry I will just choose the same color orange and then make it more darker and then this color you can choose maybe a kind of orange color here all right so you can see here our design is almost ready now it's time to do the uh, icons add icons and the text so to add the icons go to the insert click on the icons and I'm going to choose uh, some random icons but in your case you need to choose the icons which matches your requirement okay so I'm just randomly uh, selecting few icons here so this is again let me just choose this one again this one this is fourth and one more five click insert reduce the font the, the icon size to 0.7 and I'm going to fill this with white color and then each one you can start putting here you can see here one by one you can start putting here all right so this is the last one and one more thing which you can do is we can give some shadow effect also select this 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 and this press ctrl d to duplicate so you can see here and i'm going to give the shape which is a black color increase the transparency you can see here and then bring it here give a little bit gap all right and then send this to back so we have added some shadow effect also so then let me just put this one and go to the insert text box i'm saying step okay make it white font make it open sans semi bold and bring it down by holding the control shift key and this one step zero one this font i'm going to use uh, extra bold increase the size and group this press ctrl g and press ctrl d to group it ctrl g to group and ctrl d to duplicate okay so you can see here sorry so now this is my step one this is my step two three four and step five all right the next thing we can do is go to insert text box you can add the title 
okay you can make it bold reduce the size go to insert text box equals lorem within brackets one i don't want this much large text i'm going to delete a little bit reduce the font size you can see here so this is my step one press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate my step two step three and step four and if you like to do some basic animation you can just do the animation or you can just keep without animation as well